Hi everyone and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires. So I want to start things off by having Gwen and Marcello spend some time together because they are very close. And later on in the part we'll get back to Bellatrix and have her finish with uh, turning the Renegades into vampires since we got halfway through that last time so I want to finish what we started this time but yeah first we're just going to focus on these two because they are very very close so I thought it'd be good to have the two of them just spend the evening hanging out. Uh, I guess joke about old times, although they haven't known each other terribly long. And I also wanted to have them spar because they're very... Actually, can they? Wait, no, I don't know if that... Okay, no, that was asked to turn. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have them spar because they're really close to... Wait, no, right here. They're really close to getting more points, but it seems as though reading and having them perf um, perform dark meditation really isn't moving this forward much, so I think we need to have them spar and do some other stuff like that to really get this further ahead. Because I noticed that Bellatrix is... Where, where are we going? Are we doing the spar? Are we going to just spar in the house? Can they? Oh! I didn't think there was enough... Wait, wait, wait. I didn't think there was enough room in the house for them to spar. I thought they had to go outside. But yeah, I noticed that, that Bellatrix seems to be getting points a lot quick... Oh! Okay, yeah, that... <laughs> I noticed that Bellatrix seems to be getting points a lot quicker than them. I think that's just because of how much we've been having her use her abilities. Um, so yeah, I think we need to have these two start doing some stuff like that to really get their rank up. Ooh. Yeah, there is... Okay, yeah, I think you really have to have a large, the tall ceiling height for this to work well. I didn't think they were actually gonna do this. Wait, did she... He, oh, he won! Awesome! Yay, I am surprised he beat her because, um, she has the vampiric strength that he doesn't. So yes, we finally got some points. And he has now defeated three vampires in combat. So we need to actually have them meet some other teen vampires since I think they can only spar other teenagers so I want to see if there's any of them out in the center area that they can talk to but we can pick some new things for them uh so cast hallucination what would we want to give him maybe I should just save it till they get some more points than two because of yeah I wanted to give him vampiric strength so I think I'm going to hold off on giving him his points and I think she probably also only has two and um I don't know why this is... Okay, whatever. Um, I actually kind of wanted to give her a vampiric charm. And she doesn't have enough for that, so... Yeah, we'll just hold off on giving both of them points. Okay, so let's let's not go and play video games. Let's actually go outside. Uh, really quickly, though, we're going to... Oh, it also looks like she's thirsty, so... Um, ooh! Nice! Um, so anyway, we're gonna have her add him to groups so that they can more easily hang out together. Looks like Bellatrix is coming over and showing him something on her phone. Uh, but yeah, he is on to- or she- she's on to the next milestone. Um, so let's see, make two good friends. We got one good friend, so I'm guessing that's Marcello here. Um, so we need to work on that and get permission to drink from two different sims. Uh, which this is interesting because, I mean, I didn't really want her to drink from sims at all. But... I mean, I don't know, maybe she decides that she, you know, like, Bellatrix, I'm sure, has probably talked up how great it is, you know, like... Well, actually, maybe Bellatrix probably hasn't said anything to them about drinking from other sims, but she might eventually say something to them about drinking from other sims and maybe tell Gwen how great it is and Gwen might be tempted to try it herself. Or maybe she just finds that she's not feeling quite satiated enough from drinking plasma and kind of wants to try it. I don't know. I don't know, like, maybe she could just have an urge to drink from Sims, but she still can't bring herself to just compel Sims for a drink, so she asks permission. I don't know, we'll figure it out, um, then purchase the Tame Thirst, yeah, Tame Thirst power. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to get these two out. I think I'm going to have them go to the one secluded bench spot that we had Jessamine and Alessandra go to a few parts ago. Um, we could just have Marcello take her over there and maybe kind of try to work up the courage to make a move. We'll see if it actually happens or not. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it looks like none of the other teen vampires are out here, actually. Who is that? Oh, no, that's just, uh, Lily Fang. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to see some of the other teen vampires out and about. Uh, oh, yeah, so, um, in the comments of the last part, Skychime658 brought up that I could make a lot with the Vampire Nexus trade and the teen hangout trade so that the teen vampires would be more likely to come there. And a little light bulb went off my head, and I thought that it could be cool to make a lot for Forgotten Hollow that looks like an abandoned church. Um, just because I don't see there being, like, a bar in here or something, anything like that. But um, I was thinking that we could kick out the Vator family, because uh, they're still in there. We just kick them out and then make a little abandoned 
church lot that just looks like a church with like cracks in the stone and stuff like that and just kind of decrepit and I could have um make it look like the pews inside are just shoved off to the side okay they're both over here um yeah like make it look like all the pews are shoved off to the side so that they could spar I think that'd be really cool so I might make something like that I, I think it'd just be really fun to make something like that okay so they're just kind of awkwardly sitting out here um I think it's just because they're both really thirsty oh shoot we're out of the okay uh, we are out of the plasma pack supply, so we're just going to drop some plasma fruit from her inventory into theirs. Wait, oh, I can't, why didn't that go in there? Okay, there we go. Yeah, hopefully that'll hold them off for a little bit, and then I need to get a fish tank so I can do that whole, that whole, um, making plasma, pl plasma pack thing that I was talking about. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and drink our plasma fruit. There we go. I don't know if, um, okay, it looks like they're, I guess they quench the thirst about the same as plasma packs do. But yeah, I need to do that whole getting them a fish tank so that they can just easily get fish and make plasma packs from thing. Yeah, because I didn't see any frogs around here, which I just find, like, I don't know, I just find it really surprising that they wouldn't have any frog spawners around here. Maybe they just hadn't spawned yet, or I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I didn't see any before. Okay, so these two are just having a lovely chat out here. Um, I don't know if we can even confess attraction if we wanted to. So we can have a make a move, flirt, exchange numbers. I don't, the exchange numbers thing probably isn't really that good of an idea, but he's just looking kind of nervous. I don't know, we could just ask her if she's single and if she had anything. Why is this not, oh, okay, but I want to try that again. Um, I don't know, just kind of ask her if she had a boyfriend back home or anything like that. Innocent enough, I guess. Okay, Nicole, or Marcello, ah, why, why am I mixing up since we're different Let's Plays? No, Marcello has learned that Gwen is single. Okay. Uh, let's see, gossip about, why can't we do that sitting down? Um, I think it also helps if they do some of the vampire interactions, like, um, like the disgusting, I just went past a few, a few of them, um, show off, wait, no, wait, uh, hold on, let's not do that, let's do one of the ones I could do while sitting on the bench. Yeah, like they can brood about being a vampire and stuff. I think that might help. And um, there were a few other ones we could do. Discuss plasma flavors. Yeah, I don't know if this really helped much with getting them. I think it said at some point that that would help them with getting more points, but it doesn't really look like it's helping. But yeah, there's just this kind of awkward, small talky conversation going on as Marcello's debating whether or not to say something to Gwen about how he feels. Here, let's get a let's get a picture from this angle. There we go. How nice and romantic. <laughs> okay. I kind of want him to just make some kind of move. I don't know. We're in part seven of this let's play. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should try to make something happen. So we can reveal a crush. I don't know if we want to do that quite yet. Maybe let's just start off with complimenting appears. I feel like that's always like a, a good way to kind of ease into the flirting. And uh, looks like she's pretty receptive to that. Um, so I don't know, maybe she's a bit interested in him. Uh, let's, let's see, what else would we do? That snuggle, reveal, oh, the, inter the romantic interactions for teens just sound so adorable. Okay, let's, uh, let's just flirt with her. Oh, why are the interactions not popping up? Okay, flirt, please. Is it gonna work? Yeah, seems like she's into it. Or not, maybe not, I don't know, she doesn't really look too pleased. I know, we might just be talking about something else. Okay, no, they're not flirting anymore. I think the flirting went well, though, but even if he does manage, if he, even if he does get up the courage to reveal his crush to her and she, you know, she reacts well to it, I don't think they're going to move quickly into, rela into a relationship because, I mean, Gwen's got a lot going on with um, wanting to find out more about her past and also trying to gain better control of her power so she could potentially go back home to her parents because she does miss them dearly. So, I mean, even if she's, you know, even if she is interested, I just don't think they're going to, like, move quickly into like an actual relationship things will probably still move pretty slowly from there like you know i like you but i just don't want to rush into anything kind of a way because there's just so much going on um but we'll continue to work our way Ooh, let's make a vampire pun but um i mean he's Ooh, let's uh i think i have to stand up to i don't know i just want to have the two of them just kind of sit here on the bench and talk but I keep seeing these romantic inter inter interactions popping up. Express admiration. What happens to a vampire that loses flight? They're down for the count. Ooh, nice joke. 
Uh, let's give her a heartfelt compliment. Maybe um, do another flirty type interaction. I mean, I don't know if we want to just have them make a move. I mean, it might work because they are pretty close. I don't know. We'll just try flirting again. Let's see if there's any romantic relationship on. Really? Okay, I'm getting really annoyed by the fact that these interactions just aren't always popping up after I click on them. Okay, it looks like there's not really a romantic relationship on her side yet. Ooh, but it looks like maybe we're getting somewhere with it. Oh, looks like someone's looking into information on vampires. Okay, so I think she needs... Okay, they both need... Hold on, I just gotta get them some more plasma fruits because they're getting thirsty again. Yeah, unfortunately they... Oh, he already had a bunch. Okay, well, we'll just have both of them take a, a quick break to eat some, of, eat some of the plasma fruit. And then continue on with this. Um, so let's... Let's just try a pickup line. Let's kick this up a notch, see how a pickup line goes. Ooh. Oh, she actually seems into it. But we're still not... Okay, she's flirty, though, but there's still not really a romantic relationship there on her side. Um, okay, but he is flirty now. I mean, should we just... I'm gonna do it. We're gonna have him reveal his crush. I, I don't know how well it's gonna go. I don't know if he's gonna get shot down. Uh, hold on. Let me get a good angle once that pops up. Okay, he's doing it now. How's she gonna react? Ooh! I think that went well. Oh, I think she said that she likes him back. Oh, you know what? Let's have her flirt with him a little bit, too. Yeah, she still doesn't have a romantic relationship here. But yeah, even though they admitted that there was, you know, they both have feelings for each other, I just, I just don't see them really rushing into something. Like, I think it's still going to be kind of like, a, you know, like a slow moving thing. I know I keep repeating myself on that, but I just still think it's going to move really, you know, it's kind of an awkward thing, I guess. Like, you know, awkward first teen relationship. So I just don't think it's going to move forward very fast. Um, although it looks like he just blew a kiss. I don't know why there's, it's bugging me how she doesn't have the romance bar here. Because let's see how it is on his side. Like, it's all the, I mean, I know he had one in the first place and she didn't, but... I feel like there should be something there on her side, so we're gonna have her fl flirt a little bit just so we can get that. Um, so we'll have her compliment his appearance and tell him that, you know, she's always thought he was pretty cute for since, you know, since, um, ever since she first saw him. All right, so it looks like he was receptive to that. Do we still, what are, what are we doing? Show off, oh, okay, you two can show off your powers, that's cool. That'll probably help with getting the points, maybe, hopefully. Are you gonna do it? There we go. Uh, do they have a romantic relationship yet? No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, why is that not showing up? I just really want to at least get get it to show up that, you know, she has romantic feelings towards him, you know, but I, I, I mean, I guess it works, though, because, I mean, it, I feel like he's a bit more into her than she is into him. I don't know. Okay, so they're just having fun showing off their powers to each other. Okay, what time is it? 401. It might soon be time for them to go back inside. I guess we'll have her reveal her crush. I don't know. I mean, it already kind of happened, but we'll just we'll just do it from her side as well. Why not? Um, there we go. All right, so we got that. Um, so yeah, we kind of got the start of a little something going on between the two of them. They admitted that they do have a do have some feelings for towards each other. And you know, of course, neither of them have been in a relationship before because, I mean, he's been kind of just sheltered here in Forgotten Hollow. And then she, of course, just kept herself very distant from people because of she knew there was something a bit different about her. So never really got into a relationship because of that. So, um, yeah, this could potentially be their first relationship. And, like, a lot of first relationships, there's always a little bit of awkwardness when it comes to moving forward. Um, but I think we're going to we're gonna get them back inside because the sun's... I don't know when the sun rises in this world. I think it's probably like 5 or 6 a.m. So we probably should get them in back in soon. First of all, I want to check if we have any of the other teens wandering around. Okay, no. that uh, He is one of the Sims who lives over here, but not one of the teens. And I really want them to meet teens. So we'll just have to... Uh, is that... Okay, no, that is not a teen. Yeah, I'll have to make that church, abandoned church lot eventually. Because I just think that'd be a community lot that would fit into this world really well. But yeah, still not seeing anyone. Uh, so we're just going to get these two to go back home. 
And I'll just play through the day on my own so that in the evening we can have Bellatrix go back to Windenburg to meet the Renegades and finish where we left off with having her turn them all into vampires. It's the evening and during the day I got a pop-up saying that it was Augustine's birthday so I'm just going to age him up really quickly so that he doesn't get sad because we forgot about his birthday. And then after that I'm going to have Bellatrix meet with the Renegades and uh, yeah, once again finish where we left off with them. So I believe right now Bellatrix is going to grab... Are you gonna... Where, where is Augustine? Come on, go grab him so that... Where... That's not... That's not Augustine. What? Okay, go... All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, go get Augustine so that we can age him up before we get sad and all that stuff because I have a feeling that if I just went off with Bellatrix to meet with the Renegades that he would age up on his own and then just be sad and all of that good stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna age him up really quickly. Not gonna make a big deal. Out. Oh no! Oh, I forgot to get a pic- ah, I didn't get a picture of it. Oh, well, we'll just get- There we go. That's good enough. That's a picture. Alright, well, we can at least get him doing whatever it is that toddlers do when they age up. We'll pick that for him, and then... For his trade, what should we give him? Well, he did have silly- he did have the silly trade as a toddler, so... I guess we'll make him a goofball to go with that. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, sorry I didn't end up doing much stuff with- toddlers with him as a toddler but yeah I was pretty preoccupied with the other vampire related things but I'm sure I'll I'm sure Sims will have babies in other let's plays and I'll focus a bit more on raising the toddlers and all of that and those but yeah there's just so much going on in this let's play that I wasn't able to focus on that as much uh but yeah there's little Augustine as a toddler or not not as he's no longer a toddler there's Augustine as a kid and um I'll just pick out his outfit and hair and all that stuff before the next part, because um, I really want to get to having Bellatrix meet with the Renegades. Uh, yeah, sorry that was a kind of a non-eventful birthday, but yeah, I just realized last minute that that was happening. Oh, it looks like these two are showing off powers again. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to have her change into that one outfit that I made for her before, so we'll just get into that, and then have her go ahead and meet with the Renegades. Alright, so we've arrived, and I don't think Morgan and Enrique are fully turned into vampires. Yeah, I think it takes like three days. Oh, and they still have the bite marks though, because it was like two days ago. So I think they're not quite turned yet. So um, eventually we'll turn these two and then I'll probably wait a few days before coming. Oh, there's there's a uh, Victor once again. Oh, Ooh, is she, wait, is she finishing turning now? Oh, oh, it does only, oh, it does only take two. That guy's like, what the hell's going on? What is, oh, oh, okay. Never mind. That only takes like it only takes two days. Okay, so she is a vampire now. That is her dark form. Okay, um, yeah, so I'll have to- I don't know why I just took a picture of that. Um, ah, there we go. I have to get out of that. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to go in and kind of give, uh, her and Morgan a new vampire look. Actually, did Morgan do the whole turning thing yet? I don't think she did. Okay, so it only takes two days for them to turn, not three like I thought. Um, but yeah, after we turn Max and Wolfgang, I'll probably skip- well, I'll probably, um, take a break from this whole thing for a part and then in part nine we'll get back to it and they'll all be full vampires and then we can have her get on with training them and all of that but yeah i did want to give Ulrike and morgan more pale skin to go with other vampires so uh, i'll have to do that for all of them once they're turned this guy's not <laughs> virgil you're not allowed out of the house what are you doing no <laughs> okay no <laughs> i just find it funny getting that text from virgil like yeah virgil's totally going to bars for guys night yeah, I don't know that he has that many friends. <laughs> um, oh, oh, I also uh, wanted to mention that I had Marcello and Gwen read a bit during the day, and it actually did get their get them move their uh, powerpoints or I don't know what the skill bar, whatever this is, it moved this that forward a bit. So, yeah, it does turn out that reading the vampire lore books does help that a good bit. So, uh, yeah, both of these two made a good bit of progress on that during the day. Uh, so I think we're gonna have her go and try to turn the other two shortly. And, uh, yeah, we also did give her the vamp- Oh, there we go, we broke that. Um, so yeah, I did give her the vampiric charm last time. So we'll have her turn on the alluring visage, because I want to see what that is. So I guess that just makes it so Sims are more likely to try to flirt with her? I don't know what, although- I kind of don't like the glowy cloud around here, so um, let's uh, let's dispel that. We can turn that on later. Okay, are you gonna? Okay, no, stop that. Okay, I think we dispelled it. Um. Anywho, I want to see. Okay, let's call him over, so that we can 
turn him into a vampire or I don't know, get to know. Maybe we just um, kind of start interaction to talk to him. He'll come out. Okay, no. Oh, why can't we just, uh, why can't we just call him over? Okay, well, we can just, uh, hold on. We can add him to a group or, oh wait, no, they are in a group. Okay, let's, we can just do the go here together thing. There we go. We'll go here together. Okay, there we go. Now the whole club's out here. I mean, these two already were turned. So, um, I don't know why they're not feeling so good. Okay, so before they wander off, we're gonna, although we got, we got this guy hanging around here. Who I guess he saw some vampire-y things going on, so he's uh, walking off. Okay, sorry to keep pausing it, but uh, before they go anywhere, I wanted to turn him into a vampire. So we're just gonna finish up with this whole thing. Please come out of the bathroom so we can do this. Okay, so she's in her dark form to turn him into- ah! Oh, come on. This is really annoying. Okay, let's let's go here together. There we go. Now we're getting the whole group, whole gang out here. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna turn you into a vampire, and then afterwards we're gonna turn Wook Gang into a vampire. And um, I feel like as she's becoming more powerful and this, you know, turning more sims into a vampire, she's gonna be you know, a little more careless about showing that she's a vampire around humans. And she's already starting to become a little bit less careless. Like, she's just turning Sims right here, not really caring if anyone walks down and sees. And if someone sees, you'll probably just bite them, and then they'll get knocked out, and maybe think it's a bad dream. So, um, yeah, definitely getting a bit bolder. Uh, so, yeah, now Max is in the progress of turning into a vampire. Okay, let's uh, let's do Go Here Together again, because I think Wolfgang, Wolf, Wolfgang, Wolfgang, Wandered off somewhere else, so hopefully we can get him to come back. Not sure where he went. Because he is the last sim in the group that we need to turn. Okay, good. He's coming back here. I don't care that you have to pee. We're going to become a vampire. Actually, vampires don't have the bladder needs, so after we turn you into a vampire, you're not going to really, you're not going to really need to worry about going to the bathroom. So we are doing you a service, because you're not going to have to worry about doing that pee walk anymore once you're a vampire. Okay, stop going up. Uh, stop going up the stairs. Go back down here and turn him. Alright, looks like we got Victor here once again. I think he already hates her, though. He's already... I think he's already aware that she's a vampire. Okay, there we go. Bel 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 Bellatrix is coming back down here. Sorry, I'm just really excited about the whole turning Sims into vampires thing. I don't know. I have a lot of fun playing as Bellatrix. Like, I don't know. I just... It's just... It's fun to just play as Sims who are evil sometimes. You know? Like, it gets a little boring playing goody two-shoe Sims. I mean, as, as much as I love Gwen and Marcello, like, it's just, it's fun to play a bad vampire. Because, I mean, it would be kind of boring if all the Sims and this, all the vampires in the series were good vampires who just wanted to drink from plasma packs. You know, you gotta have a bit of evil. Alright, oh, oh, right, we still have to do the whole, uh, the whole offering him a taste thing. Okay, there we go, got a screenshot of that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I guess in part 9 we'll come back to these guys and... They'll be vampires, so we can start the training. And I actually wanted to build that... No, sorry, Jay, we don't care. I actually wanted to build that church that I was talking about before Part 9, so that in Part 9, when they're all vampires, we could change the meeting space for the renegades to the church, and then she could do the training and stuff there, so she can take them back to Forgotten Hollow. Uh, so yeah, I think that'd be fun. I'm not sure if Morgan... Maybe when Ulrike was doing the whole... Or maybe she already... Because I, I bit her a little bit before I bit Ulrike, so maybe she already transitioned? I don't know rude about being a vampire. I don't know. We'll do that. I mean, I'm not sure how happy these guys are with... Oh, so yeah, I think she is already a vampire because we've got the show-off powers thing coming, popping up. Yeah, so I'm not sure how happy these guys are going to be, like, once the realities of being a vampire set in. But I think that they're all set as her offspring. Actually, let's go here to clubs. I think... Yeah, when I was looking earlier, it says that she's his offspring. Or she, she's her offspring. Yeah, so they're all listed as her offspring. And I believe if we look here, yes, it, she, it does say that she has four out of five vampires. So we need to find a fifth one for her to transform into a vampire. I don't know, maybe just another, maybe one, maybe she could turn one of the paragons? I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to figure that because we got to get her a fifth sim. Um, but yeah, we got four out of the five, so that's pretty good progress. And then um, she can train them next time. So yeah, exciting stuff. She's going to soon have her very own vampire army. So we can just... um. Take the. Why are you taking out your anger on that clay? <laughs> yeah, so when she transforms more Sims into vampires, we can just move them into the Renegades. So the Renegades will basically become her vampire army group. 
Yeah, and also, since she has the alluring charm thing, I could also kind of see her getting romantically involved with different sims in the group. I don't know, that could also be interesting if there was like a love triangle or love square. I don't know, like she was just like kind of had everyone falling for her. I think that could be interesting. Um, so I might play a little bit with that, but I want to- No, where are the paragons? Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed by there being no paragons. Uh, but how are her needs? How's her thirst and all of that? Okay, I just want to look she's too thirsty. Her vampire energy seems decent. Uh, what is this? Cannonball into pool. Oh, we could have a cannonball into the pool, although... Wait, no, what is she- Oh, she's already- Okay, she's already jumping. Yeah, so it looks like she's already going up there, so I guess we might as well... Have her cannonball into the pool. Can we pick that? Jump into the pool. We can have her- Ooh, we can have her jump for the group. Let's have her do a cannonball for the group. Yeah, so they can all go up there and watch her do a fun cannonball. And I guess she's gonna just cannonball right onto Lucas's head. Kind of right there. Oh, I think he saw her doing some vampire-related things too. So now he doesn't like her much. Okay, are you gonna put that clay down? Are we doing- are we doing the cannonball? No, come on, go do the, go, uh, go do a cannonball for the group. See, there you go, everyone's coming out there. Where is she? Okay, there she is. Oh, come on, Lucas. Oh. Okay, get out of the way so we can do a cannonball. Alright, let's do a cannonball. Oh, I think he splashed, uh, I think he splashed Max. Alright, let's see how she does with this. Why are you still holding your clay? Are you going to do a cannonball? Oh, drop the freaking clay so you can... Ooh. I want you to do a cannonball. Are you going to do a cannonball while holding the clay? Nope, nope. Just put the clay down and then you can do a cannonball. You're, you're completely ruining this. Like, just... Ah, oh, yay. We have a glitch. She just... Can't figure out how to put down clay. Okay, fine. Guess we're not doing a cannonball then. That... Okay, please stop this. Just go here. Please tell me you're- okay, good. Yeah, I guess there's some kind of glitch with the clay. That's really annoying. Can we just- can we just get rid of that? Alright, whatever. We'll just, uh, we'll just sit here and- or we'll go over here and talk to Max. So we talked to Rike and, um, Morgan a lot in the last part, but we didn't really talk to these too much or get to know them much, so, um, we should probably do that. Pretend to bite- oh yeah, that's a thing that they can do. I mean, it's kind of like, it negatively impacts the thing- the, um, the group ranking or points or whatever, but it's something fun to try. All right, so we're talking about peeing her pants. And I think she just learned that Max is gloomy. I think Max is also evil, so the two of them would probably get along pretty well. So let's see. It looks like he's having some pains from the transition he's going through. Uh, let's, let's let's talk about the Renegades, and then I think she can also complain about sunlight. I think I saw complain about sunlight. There we go. Let's have her complain about the sunlight. I mean, I'm, they know that she's a vampire by now, so... Eh. And let's see. Max Villarreal just keeps making the Renegades better and better. Ooh, we should... Oh, after we have her train them for a bit... Or actually, not soon. I should probably have her ask Max to step down as a leader and take over as a leader of the group. Like, maybe after she's trained them a bit and... Gain their trust more, she could ask, she could ask Mac to, Ma ugh, why am I having so much trouble speaking? She could have asked Max to step down so that she could become the leader of the group. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's going to be her vampire army, she should be the leader of it. Uh, ooh, I want to do a romantic interaction. What is she doing? Oh, she's sabotaging the toilet. Uh, what time is it? 3.30. Yeah, so I might want to get her out of here pretty soon then. Yeah, I want to make sure we get her out of there before the sun comes up. Uh, looks like we've got Myla, Mila, Munch hanging out here. Hmm, uh, she's not really that thirsty, though, so I don't really need her to bite someone. Why is she not putting that clay down? Okay, apparently she can't do anything. If we have her mold the clay and then stop it, she'll put it down. Okay. Let's exit all that. Maybe she'll put the... Nope. Okay, looks like we're just stuck with clay in her hand. It's really annoying. I'm going to end this part soon, though, because it is getting close to the morning, and we did what we came here to do. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll take a break from this whole thing in the next part, and it's probably going to be two or three weeks before I get the next part of this Let's Play up. 
because there was a machinima that I wanted to make for the next part that's going to be a bit involved. So I just need some time to work on that and make it how I want it to be because I don't want to rush it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take a break from this Let's Play for a few weeks so that I can really work on the machinima. Because I'm planning to have it show something pretty important for this Let's Play. So yeah, not something I want to rush. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye!